Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Last Rolling Hero. The Last Rolling Hero is developed and published by Poor Cat. Uh, the Last Rolling Hero releases on July 21, 2021. It is a uh, third-person uh, running shooter type of game, I guess I could call it. And it is $4.59 on Xbox regularly, and it's currently on sale for $3.90. Um, this is a, like I said, a third-person, like, running shooter. And basically, you have a level... There's other games like this, too. You have a level... A lot of times, they have marvels. Um, so you have a level where you need to... At the starting point, you need to progress to the level, which is typically a platform-based level where you have to be kind of careful not to fall off. And you have to progress to the end, and there'll be checkpoints in between. And at the end, there's a... Uh, a uh, place to jump to, to go to the next level, um, or like a place that you have to enter to go to the next level. And so that's basically the premise of each level. Um, there are a couple of level exceptions in this particular game because there are boss levels where you end up just fighting a boss uh, with your character. Um, overall, this game is pretty good. Um, I do want to quickly point out that there is a achievement that's glitched in the game currently. Hopefully they do fix it eventually, but uh, just note that if you're into, you know, like only wanting to get a game that you can complete fully, uh, you won't be able to do that on this one. Um, but the uh, mechanics of the game are pretty interesting because uh, you shoot and you can go up and down and that determines how high in the air you shoot for when it comes to killing like enemies that are on the levels and on the up on the ground and on, not on the ground um overall the uh levels themselves are not too very difficult um they're pretty straightforward and you can pretty much like run through a lot of them this game is definitely designed to be speed runnable from the perspective of completing the levels but there are some achievements for getting things uh getting high scores and things of that nature too which will take some time because you'll have to be click kicking up every up uh every uh or picking up every little uh uh thing that's on the on some of the levels so um and as somebody who went for those achievements i actually failed and missed them by about 40 points when i kind of skipped over some stuff because it would be easier just to skip over and get more later and then i realized that you really have to pick up most of the things that are on all the levels in order to get those achievements so that's just something to note uh when you play the game um overall though the game's quite a bit of fun uh, there's other games like this in the past that haven't been as, uh, that haven't had as much to them as this one does. So there's definitely more to this game. There are a lot of levels, uh, but uh, it is a pretty quick game overall. Like, it could take you an hour or so to get through the game if you speed run through it, or maybe a little bit less. And then when you go and pick up the stuff, it's going to take you a little bit more time. Um, I definitely kind of recommend just running through it the first time. Um, there's also some collectibles that you need to pick up that are separate uh, for in each level that are called friends. And so if you can find your friend, you'll get an achievement for each one of those levels that you get that as well. Uh, one drawback in the game is that there is no level select, so you want to do everything like the friends and picking up all the stuff in just one playthrough. Because otherwise, if you miss one, you're going to have to go back and start the whole game over. So um, overall, though, the game is quite a bit of fun. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a... Enjoy the experience. It's also priced at a good point uh, at four fifty nine and on sale for three ninety. <laughs> I don't know those price points, but uh, it's a fun little game, and you know you'll have fun playing it. And pretty much anybody can play it and have fun with it. So uh, definitely recommend it from that perspective. Uh, so let let us know in the comments what you think about the game. Uh, thanks for liking, coming, and subscribing, and have a nice day.
finally stumbled upon a huge arena.